Hi guys, let's see why ships travel with the gap. There is a simple and beautiful scientific logic behind this. Let's see what it is. Consider an example where the fluid is flowing from A to B in a pipe as shown in the figure. Flowing fluid consists of three forms of energies. First one is potential energy because of its height and the kinetic energy because of its velocity and the pressure energy which is because of its pressure. This means if the fluid is flowing then sum of potential energy and kinetic energy and pressure energy should be constant. That means energy should be conserved. Now suppose if H1 is equal to H2 then point A and point B both will be at the same height. Then potential energy at A and B both will be same. Then kinetic energy plus pressure energy should be conserved. That means sum of these two energies should be constant. Now let's see what happens. If the velocity of the fluid is increasing, then the pressure of the fluid will going to decrease. And similarly, if the velocity of the fluid is decreasing, then the pressure of the fluid will going to increase. When two ships are traveling parallelly with a very high velocity, then the air pressure between the ships will going to decrease. So it means automatically low pressure area will be created between both the ships. Now the atmospheric pressure will be higher than this low pressure area. So naturally high pressure air pushes both the ships as shown in the figure. Because of this ship 1 and ship 2 both will change their direction of the movement and after some time both will going to collide as shown in the figure. This is the reason why ships always travel with some gap in between them. Thank you for watching the video. If you want more of this kind of videos, connect to my channel. Namaste.